Hello, it's Elle here to do a collective reading. I'm gonna go from Aries to Pisces for this week. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. Let's get into it. All right, so let's see what's going on from Aries to Pisces. Thank you, God, for blessing each and every zodiac sign with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Aries. Let's see what's going on for Aries. What's going on for Aries? Page of Swords. So spying, gathering information, knowledge, uh, inquiring about, uh, being kind of like tactless, tasteless, careless with what you're saying. This could even be gossip, slander. Somebody speaking before they know. Let's see. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. It could be about money. It could be about travel for work. It could be about uh, turning down an opportunity also. This could be about something that's taking long. Maybe you say something kind of crass to someone else or something else or somebody else or something. Someone else involved. You say something or they say something to you that's kind of you know, off the wall or kind of off the cuff here because somebody is taking too long to make a move or make a change or something about something inquiring about maybe something moving forward or, or, or moving altogether. Let's see. Yeah, the devil card. So this, it's out of fear. It's out of desperation. It's like addiction is third party. So it's like maybe there is somebody spying here um, because somebody's taking too long to get back to them or they're um they're doing something somewhere else elsewhere and it's like uh somebody's addicted here it's like um an, an attachment a negative attachment to a particular person or or a thing or a relationship it's like somebody wants to make up you know they want to have sex or someone's inquiring about when are we going to see each other again or when are we hanging out something could have ended just as soon as it started somebody is just extremely non-committal and it's it's possibly because they don't have what you're offering they can't give you what you what you want yeah so so that's that aries let's see what's going on for taurus and the first person to timestamp this collective reading um, I will answer two um, yes or no questions for you. You just um, email me. Let me know that you are the first person to timestamp this collective reading. All right. Thank you. All right. Let's see. Let's see what do we have a four. Taurus. Taurus. The nine of cups. All right. Taurus. So it looks like... Um, you could be getting what you want or you could just be living the lap of luxury doing well you just having fun uh good food good wine good friends laughter maybe even sex um you just riding this roller coaster and it's going well for you king of cups yeah you could um you know have somebody here a masculine energy someone helping you someone who is a, a good help I heard a good cook that could be you um you're just in a place of abundance uh, growth making good decisions being rational with your money let's see what else is going on for taurus here you can have like an uncle or a male figure somebody dotes on you or like they like you know they like you're their favorite could be a sagittarius temperance card uh, it's like they give you whatever they have or they try to be fair or balanced with you. They try to compromise with you. A four of Cups and a Three of Swords. Some of you, somebody's drinking a lot. Also, because there could be a level of depression. Somebody's divorcing or separating. It's something is hurting. Somebody's still in pain. Oh, 
what else is going on for Taurus? So it could be drinking, party. Need to balance out the drinking and the partying. You could be dealing with somebody who is already married or has a girlfriend, boyfriend. They're coupled. When you can't get in contact with them or when you can't communicate with them, it kind of takes you to a place of being depressed. You know, when you can't communicate with this person. It's like a sexual relationship. It's friends with benefits. This person isn't able to give you what you really desire. You know you got to make a decision if you're going to, how long you're going to do this or tolerate this. Let's see what's going on for my Geminis. Okay, Gemini. Okay, Gemini. The Ten of Cups, so happy. Just happy all around the board, happy family life. Um, especially if you're a male Gemini, just um, things are working out in your favor. There has been a truce called within a, di a family dynamic. It's just all good. Um, let's see. What's going on for a Gemini? Six of Pentacles. So equal give and take. Something that's working out. Something that is, you know, reciprocal. Um, it's mutually beneficial. It is um, in and out, all, you know, it's just like you just handing off something. It could be handing off the children, like maybe this is what you're doing, um, moving or moving around or something of that nature, or you, you visit somewhere, you hold on to the idea of the empress. Somebody's the empress in your world. Maybe you got some sexual thoughts of being with the empress. It's like, Somebody's very alluring, very like earth mother, magical, witchy poo. Could be you, Gemini. I don't know if you're thinking negative about how this is going to go or how their relationship is or how they think about you with the Ten of Swords, but something is stagnated, like some, something about money, newfound wealth. money's coming in but it's also going out trying to maintain the level of security within your life wanting to move from one job to another but feeling stuck but it says you got the opportunity to start something new somewhere else do what's right what's just and fair It's going to be devastating to somebody else or it might be devastating to you. Interesting energy there, Gemini. It's like all is well in the home life. It's just, it's working out right now. The Knight of Wands, it's like things have picked up. It's got more fun or you travel or you did something here. It's like staying stuck but wanting to start something new. Might even want to divorce if somebody wants to divorce or separate. Or there could have been devastation by the by way of the mother of your children. Or the tough time, the curse. The curse within this relationship is over. Yeah. All right, so let's see what's going on for Cancer. What do we have for Cancer? Shuffle one more time for Cancer. All right, what do we have for Cancer? What are we gonna tell Cancer, the Cancer Collective? Judgment, all right, needing to make a decision, needing to absolve, resolve, relinquish, let go, decide, make a quick, fast decision. The universe is trying to take you to the next level. Are you done with this or are you staying in it? Let's see. The Knight of the King of Swords. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I don't know. If you need to figure, if you need to be done with somebody or they're done with you, or let's see. What do we have here? The Three of Wands.
it's like some of you are just standing still, standing stuck. You have to decide how you want your life to look in the near future. Like if you want to be with somebody, if you want to go after someone new, some of you are waiting for communication from somebody that you're not talking to. You don't like being ignored or not acknowledged here. It says take the lead, send out the communication so you can come out of not being not acknowledged. Some, somebody here is still in the streets, baby. Still, Knight of Wands, Nine of Wands. It's like you have opportunity to be with somebody and you're, you'll be with them, but it's not, something's not staying. Somebody doesn't have staying power. It's hard for them to stay still. It's hard for someone to let grass grow under their feet. And this doesn't necessarily have to be a young person. This could be an older person, but this is just someone who just cannot maintain maintain a relationship. And that's why, therefore, they have to determine are they in or out with the judgment. This is what I have for you, Cancer. All right. So it could be you, it could be someone else, Cancer. All right, let's see what's going on for Leo. Ten of Swords, Leo. I think we got that. Um, something is completely over. It's done. This is how somebody feels. The, the Page of Wands and the Three of Wands. It's like somebody wants to reconcile or come back together or have sex or have a friends with benefits type of relationship. But something could be over. Somebody could be saying no. It could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody just wants things to be back how they used to be, the status quo. Like, why are we changing now? You knew this is, this was the regimen. This is what we did. This was the routine. Yeah, because somebody could be married here. And they're like, look, when I come and travel towards you, when I come towards you, you already know what it is. It could have just been about sex for Leo. Maybe sex and friendship. And there were a lot of lies or half truths told, yeah, just so somebody can get what they wanted. Maybe even have several different women. Yeah, somebody definitely doesn't want someone to go. They don't want it to be over. Now, just because they're they're wanting you back and they don't want to lose you, doesn't mean that you are the only one. It just means they don't want to lose you. Maybe they want all. So this is how somebody's looking at you, Leo, or vice versa. This is this is how you're looking at, you know, another relationship. Well, a relationship with a particular person. All right, let's see what's going on for Virgo. Let's see what's going on for Virgo. Two of cups in the sun. All right, Virgo. So. Uh, this could even be signing contract, happy times, happy news, um, your time in the spotlight. There's a lot of time in the spotlight here. Two of cups. There could be reconciliation within your relationship. Things are working out for you. There's um, mutual respect benefit here. Um, now you and your person are seeking one another out. There could be news of baby or marriage or something like that. Yeah, maybe from your husband. or Okay, so if they're, if they're already your husband, no course, you're not getting married. But there could be some new, there could be like a rekindling here or like a balance happening. Some alchemy, some chemistry. The chemistry is being reignited here. Somebody could have done some love spell also. Like somebody was on the brink of maybe divorce or separation, but somebody did something. Somebody could be... It's a tough emotional decision. Somebody's got to take the, the moderate route. They can't get everything that they want, but it looks like uh, whatever they, they do decide on, it's going to be good for them. There will be some signing of some contract. 
getting like somebody's not getting everything they want. And there's a lot of working, workaholic for you, Virgo. All right, so let's see what's going on for Libra. Okay, Libra. One more shuffle for Libra. All right, let's see. Okay, Libra, King of Coins. You could be married, well established. At times, you're rational, um, systematic. Um, you give good advice, especially about material things and money, business. Let's see. Three of Cups. There could be friends coming to you or people communicating how they feel. Two of Cups. Um, something about... Emotional health, well-being. Let me see what's going on here. Yeah, judgment. So it's like, I don't know if you're asking for forgiveness or um, be wanting to be absolved of your wrongdoings. Or now somebody is absolving you. They're letting you go. They're releasing you. I don't know if somebody has a hold on you or something like that. It's like now they forgive you. Something about release here. What is this? Yeah, the sun card. It's like now it's 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 happier times. It's fun times. It's times together now. It's like somebody's really coming to a place of, you know, understanding and now releasing. Yeah, five of pentacles. Now you're being taken out of maybe not getting the acknowledgement that you deserve. Feeling used, abused, ignored. Something is coming full circle. It's like you did something. You for you asked for forgiveness or you did something. You did something. You showed something to somebody and now they forgive you. And now it's like you guys are going to go to the next level here. Whatever that looks like. It's like you earned some brownie points with somebody. Like, like okay, someone's like, okay, I see what you did. And I appreciate that. And that means a lot. And I'm never going to forget that. Um, and now it's like something comes full circle where you can maybe close out. You can leave if you want to. You can stay. Interesting reading there, Libra. All right, let's see what's going on for Scorpio. Okay, one more shuffle for Scorpio. Scorpio. What do we have for Scorpio? Okay, Scorpio, the Knight of Cups, the Three of Swords, and the Six of Coin, the Seven of Coin. There could be news of something, good news. But then it causes lack of communication, or maybe you guys aren't seeing eye to eye about this. It could be about a pregnancy. It was unexpected. This could be within a marriage or some traditional dynamic here. Could be you, Scorpio, with your woman. Somebody you are married to are married to. It's like separation here, but then it's like um, somebody's trying to show how much they love by way of gifts or trips or money. Somebody's not talking to the other. The other person has gone the other way. So it looks like Scorpio wants them to come back. Someone is being very stern and cutting this out or cutting this off. They don't want what Scorpio is offering or vice versa. You don't want what someone is offering Scorpio. A lot of Aquarius energy, Virgo, Scorpio woman here. So Scorpio woman doesn't want what some man is offering. It could be your husband or ex-husband or somebody here. I don't know. It's like somebody wants something new to develop between the two of you. Like, don't, don't let me go or don't let this go. Yeah. It's 
Somebody had to learn some tough lesson after maybe not doing the right thing by you, Scorpio. And now that's why they want you back. Okay, so let's see what's going on for Sagittarius. Let's see, type this one thing. Okay, sad. Let's see what's going on for Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius. Okay, the knave of wands. So you could have a child or a young person within your care in the home. There could be good news about money coming to you. Yeah, six of wands, maybe help or helping your business or money coming to the business or someone to help you. Um, someone's choosing you or choosing your business or patronizing your business. Yep, I knew it. Three of Pentacles coming out. Someone's patronizing your business. Very nice. Looks like you are um, doing some high quality work or you push out some really quality plates, food. I don't know. Whatever. People like it. Uh, Queen of Pentacles is putting you in a place of where you, you, you're um, finding financial stability and maybe even different outlets of uh, how to make money. So this is really good with the Queen of Coins here. The Knight of Coins, it's like you're becoming stable, um, something more committed or devoted to, or you're going to be devoted and committed to maybe this new thing that you're doing. We got the Emperor. And the hangman, it's like you understand you got to sacrifice something or make some sacrifices. You got to let something go. You come into some emotional clarity or awareness that somebody is sneaky, a liar. You, they're untrustworthy. They're acting like they're masquerading. They haven't cut somebody off. There hasn't been loss of friendship here. They're still friends with this person. They still have them hanging around. It's a secret affair or a relationship. It's behind your back, Sag. Yeah, somebody is. Um, somebody feels like you, you feel like this person is the one or they feel like you're the one, but this the, it's still unknown. Don't know where the relationship is going. All right, let's see what's going on for Capricorn. Capricorn. All right, Capricorn. What's going on for Capricorn? A lot of hiding, hiding. I don't know what you're hiding. Capricorn. Justice. All right, doing the right thing, fair, balance, indebted to, or somebody's making you feel indebted to them. So it's like they're making you do what you don't want to do. Eight of Wands, Ten of Swords. It's like somebody wants to quickly end something, or it's like just end it like let's just be done it's like i don't know what is this about yeah hangman the king of wands the ace of pentacles like somebody's willing to sacrifice maybe their position their status their piece of the pie of some entrepreneurial endeavor it's like it has something to do with fitness or fit or um, something to do with um growth or cultivation or gardening or something i don't know something to do with the earth or the body physical body here it's like somebody sexuality you know has changed or shifted or somebody does like the same sex here but they feel like they can't let this out it will be devastating or something will be devastating so somebody feels indebted to or stuck to or bound to Someone could be waiting to get somebody pregnant or plant a seed here. Waiting, plant the seed and then there's the sun to shine down on the seed growth here. Waiting for something to expand, seeing the bigger picture. Maybe that's why they came back or they're staying because they're seeing the bigger picture. They're hiding a lot of things, maybe even about their sexuality, their sexual preference. Somebody likes to have relationship with the opposite sex and sex with the same sex. 
Yeah, somebody's making a marriage work or trying to make it work, trying to take it in a new a new direction, but there's a lot of hidden secrecies about what somebody likes, what their proclivity is, what they really want. They're hiding their emotions here. Okay, let's see what's going on for Aquarius. What's going on for Aquarius? All right, let's see. Aquarius, what do you have to tell Aquarius? Lord God. The hermit, it's time for you to go within, withdraw, let go. Stop looking for validation answers outside of yourself. You already know what the answers are. You already know what you're supposed to be doing. And then you might, you're going to get some enlightenment by looking at past experience also. You could be becoming a guru, a good teacher, giving guidance here, being guided also. Um, it's like you're being perfected because the nines are about perfection. So it's like you're learning, gaining more knowledge, maybe even about your own personal philosophy. It could be shifting, changing, a change of perspective, perspective, a shift in personal a shift in or transition in your personality. So people say, you've changed. There's something about you has changed. Well, I did have a change to my personality. Um, let's see what else is going on for Aquarius. You may have left something. You need to withdraw. You need time alone, solitude. The justice card, very nice. Um, maybe to do something or get something right or to repay debts or to hold down something or get back in balance get your money back in balance you may have to step away from this group or these people the only way that's the only way you're going to do it the star card you got nothing but majors wow the universe is really working with you aquarius for you to get back in balance back on the right path um for you to release old baggage here for you to know, know fairness and justice truth clarity you have to firstly be truthful with yourself about how you feel about what you do about how you've been the eight of swords it's like uh, I, I just don't feel like that's your energy here um you and somebody cannot be talking or there's just no real activity between the two of you somebody is in the eight of swords type of energy a prisoner of their own mind you could be dealing with a gemini of some sort i don't know or virgo it could be anybody um it could also be uh, uh taurus um somebody stuck here and they're waiting for you you know they're waiting for you to come and rescue them or Aquarius I hope that you're not waiting for Calvary to come and rescue you because no, no one's coming yeah there's a masculine energy waiting for you to come and take them out of this mental prison how do you do that you reach out to them you say hi to them you talk to them you give them opportunity and this is what they're waiting for they feel like this relationship isn't over it's just going in a new direction here they're frustrated, but there's they just don't feel like it's over. And they can feel like this, you're the one. There's also like maybe a new, we, we talked about Gemini, we got lovers coming up. There's a Gemini here, or it's, you met a person for a significant reason. There's a lot of distance or a lot of time of no activity between you and this person. This is Gemini man too. Uh, but this person wants to, like a, a commitment with you. Well, they don't lock you down, get you pregnant with the seven of pentacles. Or they just like they want some type of restriction on you. They think about that all the time. Interesting energy, Aquarius. All right, last but not least, we have Pisces. Let's see what's going on for my Pisces. Pisces. Let's see what's going on for my Pisces. What do we have for Pisces? Okay. Four of Wands, so the home life thing. It could be a lot of women in the home or something to do with a woman, a particular woman in the home. A mother energy. So it could be your mother, feminine energy with the children. I don't know. You know, uh, let's see what's going on here. 
something about completion, successful completion of the project, or uh, I don't know. Like maybe you want her to leave. Oh, damn, and the death card came out. Like yeah, like maybe you want her to go. You want this to be over. You want her to find to transition. I hope not death, but transition to her new place. This is a project. Maybe she was rebuilding, remodeling, waiting for housing. Um, or a mother figure has left the house. Knight of Pentacles. Uh, maybe something's taking too long or it was taking too long or somebody was taking too much of your money. All of a sudden here with the Tower card. Let's see. What is this? All of a sudden. What is this? Um... Three of Swords, all of a sudden there's Heartbreak, Heartache, Five of Wands, people not getting along, Five of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. All of a sudden there's a, all of a sudden, somebody finds something out, there's a breakup. There's like people gossiping, drama. Somebody finds out about a love affair. Maybe that somebody didn't cut someone off or that they were trying to ignore this, but it came out all of a sudden. Yeah, and somebody makes some decision here about off or on, in or out. Somebody makes a quick, fast decision here. So I don't know if you're something is getting found out in regards to you, Pisces, or vice versa. This is what you're finding out. You're finding out that something isn't over, something wasn't over. I don't know, you, you want something to be over. Somebody wants to propose, all of a sudden somebody, but no. I don't know, like it was getting serious and then all of a sudden it was like breakdown in communication, miscommunication, misrepresentation, drama, fights, pettiness, a lack, lack of confidence in forward movement. And uh, now somebody's at a place where like, I need to let this go. Be done. This is what I have. Um, if it resonates, let me know how it resonates for your sign down in the comment section. Thank you to those who did timestamp. Um, so from going forward, what we're gonna do for um, the 12 zodiac signs is each sign will get a monthly reading, a mid-monthly reading. So we'll get two readings every month, but Aquarius will get a reading every week. Well, no, look at a, they'll get a reading every day. So this is what I have. This is what's going on. Um, thank you guys. Again, many blessings. Take care. All links are below. Go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy Ella coffee link. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.